what is up guys this is kobe here and in today's video i'm gonna be talking more about just the winter update honestly uh clearly there's no content out for it and i'll get into kind of the explanation behind that um but a lot of people i feel like with the recent update of the kmst patch that just came out are really starting to just sit around and wonder wait when is everything going to actually unfold what, what is what is taking them so long also my battle mage is 240 i'm in Celis on it right now uh but that's not really the topic for the video battle mage will get its own video here in a bit uh doesn't deserve it right now i don't think it's ready for another one just yet so the reason why i'm kind of making this at the moment is because um we had this kmst patch and uh, i just checked out kind of like um you know steve x3 the r59 check out his videos i check out his streams and uh, if there's one thing that i really noticed in uh his content i noticed that there's a lot of people pretty upset about the patch which in general didn't really have anything in it um but it's understandable because it's not the winter patch yet but they are just really wondering when the hell are they gonna drop some actual content and uh the answer to that question, quick answer, I'm gonna answer this right now, and then once y'all are done, y'all can just go ahead and leave the stream, or the, the video, I've been streaming too much recently, my bad. But we have this Golden Chariot event, and it lasts until December 30th. December 30th is when this event goes away, and this event is usually known for lasting in between major patches. After the summer patch, we get Golden Chariot. Golden Chariot ends, Winter Patch happens. Winter Patch ends, we get Golden Chariot. Golden Chariot ends, Summer Patch happens. It's a loop. It happens all the time now. So we do not expect the Winter Patch until December 30th. That's when it's going to go live. There's the answer. There's the short answer. But that's for live server. When the hell are we going to get something in the test server? Now, we just had a patch on November 4th. On November 4th, we had a test server patch and included uh, two events. One is kind of new. It, it's it's sort of a reskin of other events. We have this like idol chair or something of like the Yeti and Pink Bean or you know, the general mascots of the game. And then the other one is the EXP pocket. I didn't do anything event where we just sit in the game and then click a button for the next two weeks because that's fun and interactive content but anyway um so all of that is gonna last for about four weeks also the event consisted of a new i guess training center for mulong dojo i'm gonna go more into detail on this on my patch day video which will be on the day of the patch next week uh november 10th so stay tuned for that coming through i'll break down the overview of their little update highlight they have for it if they don't have an update highlight then shit i'll make my fucking own but after that, we don't expect the next Tespia update to, uh, until December 2nd. And I figure I'll make this video right now. Because if we have a test server update on December 2nd, and there is absolutely no winter update content in it, I'm sure people are going to lose their fucking minds. Because here's the issue. Maple Story in 2021, e-review for the entire game, has been extremely fucking awful. Like, I'm talking abysmal. Ever since what happened back in February, this game has only been going down a hill. And an update that's as major as this winter one that's going to contain the Explorer revamp is potentially what they might need to bring it back to the top. Um, obviously, I wouldn't consider it to be a dead game at the moment. It's still in the top 10 of game metrics, but it has dropped from rank two to rank nine, maybe even 10 every now and then. And that is, that hurts. I'm sure that hurts for pretty much everybody up there at Nexon. After what happened in February, they have been making really crazy changes to the game all year, but that's still not enough. It's still not enough for them to bring their game back to where it was before it dropped. Now, the game actually had less population before Fifth Job. Fifth Job was the saving grace of the game back in 2016. Now that the game is falling again, uh, they're, I guess, trying to look for the next saving grace for it. And truthfully speaking, I don't think this winter update is going to do it. Sure, it might have nice content, 
but I'm not sure if it will actually be able to pull it off. But then we got to look at the scale of the update, right? We don't know how big it's going to be. All we know is Explorer Reveal. And then they might add some different boss difficulties and stuff like that. But we don't know anything else. We literally know nothing. So it, it's just... It, it goes about what they plan to do. Also, when they plan to release it. Because I feel like those people that I saw in Steve's videos and streams and stuff. Uh, they probably represent a majority of the players in Korea as well who are getting tired of waiting for new content to drop so I can definitely imagine some sort of um, pretty ridiculous rage of some sort if they don't announce anything with the update related by the test via patch on December 2nd because we should have a test via patch for the winter update no later than December 23rd why because that's a week before this event ends and once this event ends boom we kick off all the winter update stuff is that really late for a winter patch oh yeah totally neo came out i want to say two weeks before the end of december like around the 17th or something like that of 2020. And that's when it officially came out on the live servers not just test server footage so why this winter update this year is so late i don't know like that's just beyond me um, I'm pretty sure Adventure back in 2019 going into 2020 had a pretty late start as well. No, no, no. Adventure was 2018. My fault. That was, that was three years back. Um, that had a pretty late start going into it as well. Like the actual events didn't kick off until January. And there was like a pre-event two weeks prior to that. Um, but I guess this is kind of the same case. But I really do wonder if they will kind of jab any sort of information into us in early december when this next test pack drops whether it's going to be a pre-event like a like i'll get the winter update coins for the coin shop or whatever whether it'll be a promo page on the website just anything like that and uh, yeah generally speaking that's about it this isn't really like an actual plan video or anything it's it just more so talking about what's going on right now when is the winter patch expected to come out? I got nothing else to say. Um, other than that, I will most certainly keep you guys updated if anything does come out winter update related, but it definitely won't happen this month. Um, it will definitely all come out in December. If I see any sort of promos or anything in November, I will genuinely be surprised, but I'm not expecting anything for the next four weeks at the bare minimum. So, that's it. Uh, stay tuned for more videos to come, and uh, I will catch you guys around.